this is so cute. Hello. Oh, that's a good girl. You're so cute. You're so cute, Mimi. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky Milton. My name is Mai. Welcome to our channel if you're new. Today I wanted to talk about supplements and I wanted to thank our friends on Instagram, Robber and Riley, for suggesting this video. I have talked about it briefly here and there in various videos, but I've never combined it into all one video, so I just wanted to touch on that. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that we are having a Cavalier meetup this Sunday, November 10th in New York City. It's going to be at Boris and Horton between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. So I hope to see you there. And so yeah, without further ado, let's jump on to the video. So for the supplements, I've kind of divided into four categories. And this is what we feed Herkin Milton every single day. And this is what works for us. And it's what I think is essential for Cavalier health. Whatever the breed, this is commonly widespread that this is the supplement that you should feed your dog and so the four categories are fish oil glucosamine antioxidants and probiotics <laughs> so first category is fish oil and the ones that we like to use we vary between these two brands this is from Farrah pet organics and this is from rye which we get from big country raw this is a herring oil and this is a mix of sardines anchovies herring and mackerel you guys know we like Farrah pet organics because the owner is one of our friends so full transparency there i really trust what she develops and just as a side note they will be developing uh, supplements for the heart which i think is super important for cavaliers thankfully herky and milton are still hard clear but it is something hereditary amongst cavaliers so as soon as Michelle comes out with these supplements I'm gonna be on it and I highly recommend that you be on the lookout for those supplements too because cavaliers do have these genetic diseases and if we can prevent it then it's all good and also Michelle does have a cavalier also so I know that she's really in tune with all the hereditary diseases that cavaliers have and if you didn't see our calf mom talks episode I'm going to be linking it up here it's a full like 35 minute video on all things cavalier health and it's super interesting so be sure to check that out. So the reason why we love adding fish oil to Hurricane Milton's food is for numerous reasons. It's so good for their skin, for their coats, and it's also good for their hearts. You've probably heard that omega-3s and these fatty oils, fatty acids, or I don't know what's the technical term, but it's really healthy for the heart, for humans, and for dogs alike. So that's why we like to keep it on hand and always add one sploosh to their meals once a day. Oh, it says on here that uh, fish oil is good for skin and coat. As I mentioned, it's good for the heart. It's good for the immune system. It's good for neurological reasons. So it supports brain health and function. It supports joints, strength and flexibility. So that is gonna touch on the glucosamine, the second um, category that I'm gonna touch on also. But we've been using this honestly for like two, three years, every single day. And I'm really happy that um, Herky and Milton are very healthy. Herky is five years old. And um, aside from her little luxating patella, she's in great health. And honestly, what I really wanna avoid is the heart issues in Cavaliers. So that's why we use the fish oil okay second category is glucosamine and this is excellent ingredient for joints but i found that uh farah they make and not only farah but there's a lot of brands that make joint chews for dogs uh this is an all-in-one so it does have glucosamine it has green lip muscle it has curcumin which is an active ingredient in turmeric. All these ingredients are excellent for joint health. So that's why I love to give them this once a day. They love the taste of it. They haven't had theirs today, so I'm gonna give it to you right now. One jar like this has 90 um, capsules or two, 90 chews. So it's gonna last you a very long time if you have just one dog. It lasts for us like, uh, like six weeks or so with two dogs. We love giving them this, especially since they have a luxating patella. Uh, I've heard from numerous vets that uh, the long-term use of these joints can really help articulations and mobility of the joints in general. So I'm just using this in order to support uh, their joints for as long as possible. Milton, can you come up? Come here. Good girl. Okay, third category is antioxidants. Antioxidants, as you've heard for humans, are excellent because they are cancer preventative, if I can say. They fight free radicals and they're just overall excellent for human health as well as dog health. So I always make sure that Herky and Milton have a dose of antioxidants every single day. And the raw food that we use from Big Country Raw, for example, right now they're eating the duck formula. It has blueberries in it. So I always make sure that whatever I'm feeding them either has blueberries in it or I add some blueberries or some sort of fruits that have a high dose of antioxidants in it. This is just great to support their health in general. I've mentioned in a couple of videos also that 
like fruits and vegetables that you can add to their food or as treats are really really good just to add a boost of vitamins and minerals to your dog's diet so I highly recommend you explore blueberries they're a superfood powerhouse so um, you can just buy your own organic blueberries and give them to your dogs too they just love them and they're super healthy for them Okay, and last but not least is probiotics. And again, this is gonna seem like an ad for Farah, but it's really not. I just get a subscription from Farah, so every uh, few months or so, I get a fresh batch of everything Farah. So yeah, I add one scoop of probiotics to the girls' food every morning. This is great for their gut, is great for the digestive health. It really prevents them having like digestive issues, diarrhea and stuff like that. So I always like to keep this on hand and add it to their food every day. They love this so much. So probiotics basically are beneficial microorganisms that help control violence of the digestive system and it's essential for improving digestion and enhancing overall health. So I'm just reading because I think they describe it really well and so they're just going to explain it better than if I try to do it. So each scoop of this probiotic has 5 million CFUs and 12 live powerful strains of good bacteria. It's a flavorless powder that easily mixes in with your dog's food. So even you can put it on kibble, you can put it on raw food. On the raw food, it literally just disappears in the raw. So it's really easy to have your dog and cat eat it. Oh yeah, it's good for cats too. Again, it's vet formulated, which we really like. As I mentioned, what it helps us is with a healthy intestinal tract and supports proper digestion. It helps loose stools due to uh, changes in diet and environmental stress. It helps maintain um, healthy gut flora. It supports skin health, everything. So it's just overall a very good uh, ingredient to have on hand. If you don't have that, you can also add some sort of raw goat milk. Yogurt is really good because it has those um, bacteria in it, so it's good probiotics. So yeah, this is the four things that we like to include in Hurricane Milton's diet every single day. And this is essential for us. And as I mentioned, I will probably just add the heart supplement that Farah is going to come up with in 2020. So stay tuned for that. I'll be sure to do a review as soon as it releases. And if you have any questions about these supplements, please leave them down below. But I'll have information in the description box right below the video. If you expand the box, I'll be putting some links if you want to read some more. And if you're interested in these kinds of videos, I do have a playlist on raw food and just diets in general. So I'll be linking it up here for you to watch. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Welcome. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. We love you guys so much, and until next time, we love you. Bye!